What up, Smart Rapper Gang? In this video, we're gonna talk about where should you live at for your music career. Now, I've made videos on moving to LA, plans and strategies and blueprints on how to move to LA. But in this video, I'm gonna actually show you a conversation I had with my team in the office about how we were talking about should you live in Atlanta or should you live in LA? What are the purposes and the reasons for it? Because you gotta think about a couple factors. LA is extremely expensive. Atlanta is not nearly as expensive. It's actually probably about a third as expensive as LA is. And then they both have their own music industries and you know they're both gonna have their benefits. Should you live in Atlanta for a certain amount of time? Stack up your money while still being in the industry and then move to LA. That's the type of stuff we're gonna talk about in this video as I talk to my team about my insights and my mindset because I've been in Atlanta with Waka Flocka. Fuck I've up. lived all over the country, all over the place. I live wherever I had to live in order to survive and do this music thing, okay? So Bro. I'm gonna explain some of this stuff to you guys in this video. You're gonna learn a lot because a lot of these new videos are documented of like just real conversations. These are not scripted. Every other video on, this, on the channel was really scripted. All these new videos are just like, I'm just expressing like honesty and truth the same way that you would get it from me if you walked up to me in the street and asked me. So, in this video, you're gonna learn that, all right? I'm Rob Level, this is Smart Rapper, and you're about to get smarter and learn where you should move to right at the intro. I'm Rob Level, a successful music artist that's been rapping for over 10 years. I've been posted everywhere from Complex to TMZ. I've had label deals, charted top 100, written songs for major artists with Grammy winners. On here, I teach you everything I learned in the music business. So as I learn, you get to learn too. This is Smart Rap. He's like, I moved here because I watched all your videos and I moved here for the dream. His name is Eli Q. You know, the amount of people that come here and move here, there's tons of people, like tons. They're always like, I moved here. That's, that's why they start seeing me. Because oh, they see like, you move here, but I also tell them, you need to make sure if you come here, you gotta come here with a plan, it's expensive. You ain't lying. But there's also an energy trade off because you're more motivated. If you're stuck back home, those people where you're from, they're not driven and they could suck you in and keep you there and their doubts, enough of them doubting you will hold you back. If you have the heart and the courage to take that leap and to go to Los Angeles and make that move, you're one person out of the millions of people where you're from, you know? One out of every couple thousand people take that leap and leave their comfort zone to go somewhere like coming here. Then when you're here, because it's more expensive, you're more driven if you're actually an ambitious person. Because you know, I don't want to leave. Yeah. I don't want to go back. It'll make me look like I failed. And then everybody's going to laugh at me. If you say you're a rapper, you're a music artist, you come to LA, as soon as you go back, your dream's done. Ow! Unless you left with a plan on coming back. But if you go back without that plan, it's over. What's going to happen is everybody else can be like, you went, ha. Huh? Like in their head, you know them when they say that, they're laughing at you and you know all that stuff. When you go to Atlanta, it's a good energy too. 21. You know what I'm saying? When you tell people, oh man, I'm here to make music and stuff like that, people respect that. Uh, yeah, and it's more authentic again, than here. Where everybody wants to be. You know what I'm saying? I think if artists want to go somewhere, they should try Atlanta first. Yeah! Early 2014, I tried to move to Atlanta. But I had no money in my pocket. There was like zero dollars in my pocket because at that time, the former vice president of Universal Motown became my manager. And they told me, move to Atlanta, it's affordable. We have a lot of connections there. We can start getting you shows and stuff like that. That's when I went down there with Waka because Waka's like, oh, this is hard. He like, all right, yeah, come down here. You come down here, we'll link up. Fuck so we rented a charger and we drove from Chicago to Atlanta. And then we were, we were walking for like a couple days in Southside. You can move to Atlanta for really cheap and there's a lot of opportunities there. But the thing is though, is like, this is still the hub. Yeah. But if you want to start out, because I did consider also going to Atlanta yeah. as well. Because I'm talking about with Chicago buying a house. You could go to Atlanta, the cost of housing, that's why if you look at, remember I told you guys when Waka said his, his monthly expenses were I think thirty to $6,000 and that was also including his massive house. But if you have the house the size of his house, here, that's already sixteen to twenty thousand dollars. Damn! Ti's house, he said a big ass mansion. That's going to like a three million dollar house. Here, that's twenty million dollars. Right? So you you live somewhere else, you can, but then you're losing whatever LA has. But Atlanta, Atlanta's a great secondary it's a hub, and it's smaller than LA. What the? F so as you can see, it really depends on your current resources. Well, how much money's in your pocket? Do you have a stable job? What's your next plan? What's your next move? Can you afford to be in LA? What are the trade-offs, okay? Like we're talking about the weather, the, you know, it also depends where you are in your life. It depends where you know people at. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of factors. You know, also where you can afford to live in a certain area in certain places. That's a decision for you to make. I can't make that for you because I don't know the shoes that you're currently standing in, your current resources and mindset and music types. You know, maybe your music is more Atlanta based and that's somewhere where that you really blend in better. It really depends on a lot of things. So you have to look at everything, make a plan, make a list, and then decide what you want to do. 
okay? But there you go. Now you know where you can be. Either way, if you're chasing the dream, you need to be in one of these major cities because it's gonna help you get connected faster, okay? One major mistake that I made in my career was not connecting and if I could possibly go back and had the right mindset for everything, I would have approached it differently. But I didn't, so I had to do it with no help from anybody, but then look at how long it took me. So remember, we release a new video on the Smart Rich channel every single day, all right? So hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell for me because you're gonna be notified every single time I release this video so you don't forget that you can get smarter every single day and make it further in the music industry faster. Okay, I'm Rob Level. This is Smart Rapper. Hit me with a like, hit me with a comment. Gotta remember to say that, right? And keep hustling, gang. I'll see you at the top.